Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. I thought I'd do just a quick little few comments on the smocking. Um, the pattern that I'm using, Bumblebees by Creative Keepsakes, doesn't have a design for the sleeve, so I had to make one up. And what I did was, I did two rows of just cables with some flowerettes in between the rows, you know, on the sleeves. Um, as you can see, I've got the flowerettes and the green border done, and now I'm working on doing all of the back smocking. Um, and once I get all the back smocking done, I'll come back and do the little bumblebees. Okay, but you know, the back smocking helps keep the pleats um, evenly spaced. Okay, now in this smocking plate, there is a green row of smocking that's on row one. And what I have done is I have back smocked in white on row one, but I will probably, um, once I get the neck band on, I will come back and add that first row of green smocking because sometimes it's hard to do that top row um, and then put the neck band on and get it on straight. So when I back smock on row one, when I sew the neck band on, I can follow this row um, of smocking when I sew the neck band um, to the neck, um, the neck edge, um, and then come back and do that top row of green smocking after I've got the neck band on. But I just thought I'd make a couple of comments on the smocking today. Thank you.